What is molecular cloning? Molecular cloning is a set of methods which are used to insert the genes or interests into a vector that will replicate in the host organism. The purposes of the cloning to study the clone DNA and to produce the protein encoded by the gene. So, there are a few important components in the cloning process. The first one is the gene of interest. Normally, the gene of interest or insert is selected because it can produce insulin or it is resistant to antibiotic like insulin gene or antibiotic resistant gene. The next component is vector. To insert the recombinant DNA into the host, we need vector. Examples of vectors are plasmid, phage, cosmid, bacterial artificial chromosomes, yeast artificial chromosomes, and lastly, retroviral. The vector has its own origin of replication called the replicon that enables it to replicate inside host organism. Next, it has selectable marker like ampicillin resistant gene. It also has multiple cloning sites for restriction enzymes. The third component is the host. After successfully producing the recombinant molecule which is the combination of vector and insert, we will put it into the host through a process called transformation. The last component is the enzyme. Restriction endonuclease will cut the DNA into fragments. And DNA ligase will join the gene of interest with the vector. Next, the DNA polymerase will replicate the recombinant molecule and the last enzyme will be modifying enzyme that add or remove chemical group. I would like to introduce to you guys about bacterial plasmid cloning step. Isolation. We isolate the DNA from the organism that contains the desired gene. Isolated DNA is purified and then fragmented with a restriction enzyme. Restriction enzyme like EcoR1 or H2 produce staggered cut in specific sequence of DNA generate fragment with CTN. Type of plasmid used for cloning has single restriction site. When cleaved by restriction enzyme, it will generate the same CTN that cut in fragment of DNA to be cloned. Ligation. The sticky ends of the plasmid and DNA fragment now line up and the enzyme which is NA ligase is used to form the phosphodiester bond. Transformation. We put the plasmid into let Z bacteria by transformation. We use bacteria. The bacteria cell repli replicate quickly and create hundreds of copies while some human cell might take hours or even days to divide. Bacteria cell also replicate at a very fast rate. The cell are cultured in a plate cell that contain medium with ampicillin and X jet. Ampicillin and X as antibiotic to prevent bacterial infection. We identify the clones of cells containing recombinant plasmid by their ability to grow in presence of ampicillin and their wire. Extraction. Identify clones carrying genes of interest are then extracted from vector. Blue white screen. Blue white screen is a screening technique that allows for rapid and convenient detection of recombinant bacteria in vector-based molecular cloning. The media is cultured with XGAR and IPTG. Foreign DNA is inserted within the Z gene in the plasmid vector to produce white colonies. This is because the recombinant cell with foreign DNA will disrupt the lag Z gene and not metabolize the X gar When the foreign DNA is inserted outside of the lag Z gene or do not insert into plasmid vector, there will be blue colonies due to the production of beta galactosidase as an inducer that will catabolize the X gar inside the media. Created using Powtoon.